Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And before we move on to this week's video, I just want to send out a very heartfelt, sincere thank you to everyone who sent condolences uh, for our loss over this holiday season. And with that said, I'd like to begin a brand new year saying thank you again, and I will begin our video and here's the steps that we will uh, need to take in order to complete this. So I took these clear glass plates and I'm going to show you how I put fabric on these, decoupage the fabric on and was able to wash them and here's how they turned out after I decoupage them. So th these were the clear glass plates, I decoupage the fabric on them and this Mod Podge says that you can use it in the dishwasher on the top rack and I have been so paranoid about putting these in the dishwasher because I don't want anything to get underneath these edges. So what I did was I made all of these plates, four of them to be exact, but I was still too afraid to put them in the dishwasher and one caveat you can only put these in the top shelf of your dishwasher so these larger plates would not fit. So what I did was I did a test run on a mason jar and I ran that through the top shelf of the dishwasher and I'll show you all of that. Here's how it came out. It looks great. So I'm going to show you how to decoupage these dishes with fabric. Now I have a bunch of fabrics but I cannot sew and I tend to buy these fabrics because they're so pretty. I have this set that is a shabby chic quilt set. It's, uh, I wanted to make sure these fabrics matched, so I got them from the same quilting fabric kit or it was a little set of squares for a quilt that I got. And what I did was I wanted to make sure I did the two larger plates in one fabric and the two others in a matching fabric, the two smaller plates in a matching fabric. Now I'm using, that's the matching fabric. I am using the Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe formula and all of this is on my website it's right in the link below some of the fabrics the Mod Podge everything else you'll need and you are going to need fabric scissors and what you do is you put your plate down over the fabric and leave about an inch excess all around the outside of it. Now what you want to do is take your plate, now this is the front of it as you can see, and you want to flip it over so that you're working on the back. Now you want to take your fabric, and this is the front of the fabric, you want to flip that over onto the back of the plate. So you're now looking at the back of the fabric and when you turn it over, here's the front of the plate and here's the front of the fabric. Now we're going to apply the special Mod Podge to the back of the plate. And I'm using a brush at first and it's really important that you get these edges. It's, it's so important because if you wash these and you don't get the edges, you're going to have a problem. Now I'm using my fingertips to spread all of the decoupage glue. Then I am placing the fabric down and I want you to notice I am working from the center out in section at a time. And what's happening here is some of the decoupage glue might come up through the fabric, that's fine. You want to make sure there are no air bubbles. You want to make sure you're going right up to the very edge. I'm keeping this part of the video at regular speed so that you can see that I'm making quite sure that there are no wrinkles. I am right on this edge here. If I see any air bubbles, I am pushing them out. You also don't want to stretch the fabric too much. You don't want to pull it because that can cause gaps between the fabric and the plate below. So again, I'm going in sections, pressing everything down. 
And just continue to go around the whole plate until you're all done. Now I'm taking a paintbrush and you don't want to use a sponge brush here. You want something that's going to get into the fibers of this, this fabric. And I'm using a combination of the brush and my fingers. And again, I'm making sure these edges are very, very secure. But I'm going to cover the whole back of this with the decoupage glue. And the, the coating underneath it is still wet, but that's okay. The fiber, the fabric rather, is very absorbent. And we'll just cover the whole back of this. And when I'm done, this is how it looks. I'm going to take a warm, wet cloth and wipe away any drips of the decoupage glue that might be on the front. And I'm slowing this down because the next step is that you're going to take this plate and put it on a piece of parchment paper in your cold oven. You do not have to do this, but here's what I've done. You can put this in the oven and set the oven to 175. Once the oven reaches 175, set your timer for one hour. Now this will not burn the fabric. It won't harm the fabric. I would put the fan on, the exhaust fan. There's a little bit of a smell to it, but you'll want to leave this in the oven at 175 for an hour. Mod Podge recommends that you air dry this or cure it for 28 days. That is your other option if you don't want to use the oven. Put this aside to cure for 28 days. I am too impatient to wait 28 days and I know Mod Podge is safe in the oven and the fabric won't burn. So I'm going to go on to another larger plate. I forgot to mention you should always start out when you're working on glass with rubbing alcohol so that you clean any oils off of your surface. So while my other plate is drying, I'm going to work on a larger plate with a complementary piece of fabric and I'm using a combination of my fingers and the brush that does a really nice job. I am not going to put the glass plates on my website because I can only get access to full sets of these and you don't want that to begin with. You just want to experiment with a few of these uh, glass plates and see how you like this project before you get into a full set of dishes. So after an hour, I turn the oven off and I let these cool down in the oven. Here's how the plate looks. It does have this excess around the side, so I'm taking my fabric scissors and I'm going as close up to that edge as I can. And you can see, it's still going to leave a little bit of excess. So I am taking either 80 grit sandpaper, which is very rough, or an acrylic nail file, that's what I'll be using, to file off the rest of these edges. That's a little bit of work because fabric is a little bit tougher to get through but I'm still going to do that because we want to take those edges off. Also very important, make sure you file in one direction. I don't know if you can see, but I am pulling the file towards me. If you go back and forth, you could pull that edge away from the plate and we don't want that. So just file it in one direction. Now to be on the safe side, this is all dry and probably ready to go. They suggest that you use three coats, letting it dry an hour between each coat, and then letting it cure for 28 days. Instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to add another coat. I'm going to put it back in the oven, set the oven to 175, and I'm going to bake it on there again for another hour. That is two coats that will be thoroughly baked on there. And I will add another third coat when I'm done with this. That one I'm just going to let air dry. But, but again, I'm going to put it back in the oven, 175, leave it in there for one hour, 
and then take it out uh, once it cools off. I'm using a wet warm cloth here again just to make sure I get away any drips that might be on the front of the plate. Now following all of those exact same steps, I took a different fabric and I decoupaged it over this glass mason jar and I put this in the top rack of the dishwasher. Now this part is what has always worried me. So what I did was I took a regular old dishwashing tablet, put it inside the dishwasher. Now this says it is only safe on the top rack of the dishwasher. So I put it on the top rack. I set the dishwasher for just the normal wash, which on my machine gets up to 225, two, two hours and 15 minutes, I mean, I hit start. I do not have a dry function on this, but that's because the water gets so hot that it, the dishes are almost dry when you open the dishwasher. Now I'm going to let the washing machine run its course and through the magic of video, I can come right back to you and show you what happened once this ran the uh, dryer time limit of two, um, two minutes, two hours and 15 minutes. So here we are two hours and 15 minutes later. I'm taking the mason jar out, got a little water in there, and I'm pretty stunned that it doesn't feel tacky Nothing moved from its place. Everything is still quite intact and I'm very happy with the outcome. Here's something I would like to show you and ask you to keep in mind. These dishes say they are only safe on the top shelf of your dishwasher. So if you're going to make the larger plates, you won't be able to fit them up top. The larger plates go down here but I think that's too much pressure and too much heat and they're not supposed to last uh, too long if you use them down there. So you can only make things that fit in the top of your dishwasher if you're going to put them in your dishwasher. I'm always so paranoid about this. I am never going to put these in the dishwasher. I'll hand wash them on the few occasions that I do use them. They're kind of girly. They'll be nice if I have a friend over for lunch and I put out these special pretty plates and that way I can just quickly hand wash them. There is no need to add a top coat or a varnish to the back of these. The Mod Podge that's dishwasher safe will work just fine. By the way, I am not getting paid by Mod Podge. I'm not getting any free materials. No one asked me to make this video. <laughs> I did it all on my own. I've had a few requests for it and I did want to see if it worked. And so far it seems to be working really well. I'm very happy with the plates, especially the one that I made in honor of Downton Abbey because it's the final season. Hey, what are we going to do without our Downton Abbey? But in the meantime, friends, thank you so much for subscribing. Upcycle with Decoupage is over on Facebook. If you'd like to go over and click like and follow on the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And I try to get back to you if you ask me questions within about two or three days. The channel is getting busier and busier, and thank you for that. Um, but I can't quite get back to you as quickly as I would like. Don't forget the materials. Most of these are on the website or even prettier materials are on my website. The link is down below. Thank you again, my friends. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.